Hey, baby, baby, gear, and welcome back to El Coy. We are here on Road to Comp, episode seven, and I'm just chilling with Le Charlie and Heavy Chevy. They decided to join us today for the intro. As always, let's get into some of the offline progress, which all of it I made during the stream. If you guys haven't checked out one of the streams, I highly recommend it. If you click that little bell next to the subscribe button, it'll actually notify you when I go live. Alright, so the first task I wanted to complete was get a dragon chain body drop. Now, I was going to go to the Cal Fight Queen, but there were people there, and it was probably for the better because you guys actually helped me out and said to go kill Dust Devils, and the uh, drop rate was actually 1 out of 44, the same as the Cal Fight Queen. Uh, so I went over there from the training teleports, and uh, can you fucking believe it, I got it on the very first kill. Easy peasy. Achievement. Done. Then I saw there was also a task to kill a demonic gorilla, and I remember that I did get this demonic teleport scroll a while ago, saw it in my bank, so I said perfect, and I uh, went ahead and got that. You can only get these from like demons and stuff like that, and they're untradeable. Now there was uh, another task to kill 50 of these I didn't even realize, uh, but I didn't really to kill those. I can go get another one of those demonic teleport scrolls. I figured I can uh, kill those 50 while uh, making a video about uh, the loot from all of them, so we'll put that off till later. So I went back to Pro Pro to try to get that Dragon Impling, I just really want to get it out of the way, I feel like it's never going to happen. And uh, after collecting a bunch of them, I actually this time uh, got a few rarer ones that I haven't seen yet, that are like right below the uh, Dragon one, and that would be a Zombie and Ninja Impling. And when I opened up the Zombie Jar, I actually got 500 Big Bones, which isn't really useful to me, but I don't know, for a beginner that would be, uh, that'd be pretty good for prayer. Next up I saw that I still had a task to kill 500 Dungeoneering Monsters, and decided that I would go ahead and do that. Uh, so I was doing some solos at first, but uh, I decided to go into do some duos, and it was a lot faster because there was like really low with like little fives and nines and stuff like that. So it didn't take too long to get that, and I completed it. Another achievement here, complete 10 duo slayer tasks, which I decided to do with Darth Zack, who as you know is always helping us out in the episodes. And he is a server support, so if you guys need help, you can ask him as well. Anyways, for some reason we were able to skip all of the tasks, and uh, I was able to just keep fucking going. Skip like 50 at a time until we got the easy ones, like Ice Warriors were super easy, we got a couple of those. But we also did some Black Demons and some Abyssal Demons, which were not bad either. And here we are on the account. These are how the stats are going. Looking pretty good. We still got some other stuff to get up. A few that are close to 99. Um, but I will be raising all of these low ones before the weekend is over. But let's look at some of the tasks. Lots of delicious green. Alright, so as you guys know, last episode I was having trouble with this Catch a Dark Crab one. I just couldn't find any spots to catch them. The one that had Rock Tails in it just like only had Rock Tails. I think I caught like 20 in a row, so I just kind of gave up. But apparently there is the uh, wilderness resource area, uh, the one that's in like really deep wildy next to the mage arena, and I, th cause I think they just recently added that, because I, uh, I I went there before, and it definitely wasn't there, so they must have added that. So we're just gonna go to the mage bank. Hopefully, hopefully nobody wants to kill me. You guys are probably gonna want to just okay. Oh god, I don't even have a knife. All right, let's get in here. <laughs> okay, hopefully they have the lever over here in the edge fill. The edge roll over, please. Oh, yes, they do. Wait, I still need something sharp. I'm such an idiot. All right, we got ourselves a little whip. Let's just pull this lever. Yes, 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 of course. All right, here it is. Just, just put me in this game. Oh, it's one mil. Okay, wait, I should be able to take money out of my pouch, right? Just not be able to put it in. Oh, god damn it. All right, let me in, you fuck. One million, a little, a little steep, but hopefully we have everything we need to catch these guys. Please don't tell me I need... Dark crab, perfect. Okay, just need just need lobster pot, right? Yes. The delay when you fish on wild koi just makes, makes you scared. Just standing there for like two seconds, wondering if it's actually gonna work or not. All right, any moment now, dark crabs. I have 97. Is they gonna be this slow at 99 too? Because I think I have to catch a, like 500 of these too. 200 dark crabs. Okay. One eternity later. There we go. Jesus Christ, that took forever. Okay, so we still have to catch 200. But it feels good to get that one out of the way, just just so we just clear out how to get it. Now we know where to go, and we know that it takes forever. We'll definitely get a uh, 99 fishing before that off Rock Tails, because these are that was just slow as fuck. All right, so we still have to complete 40 Wildy Slayer tasks, so I figure we can get some of these done right now. They are kind of a pain in the ass. Some of them can be pretty easy though, but you don't get unlimited skips with these. All right, so I think this is a pretty good gear setup. So let's go get ourselves a Wilderness Slayer task. Please something easy. Oof, Vananatus. You know, as much as I would love to do that, we have 40 of these to do, so we're gonna probably have to skip a lot of tasks. We have to be efficient and do easy tasks. 
The boss ones take, will take a little bit too long. We're gonna do a lot of boss. Don't worry. But this is just to get the achievement. 43 Ice Warriors. Okay, that's that's actually really easy. All right, here they are, and let's get to Slay I didn't. I forgot to use my double XP, but I mean, he's giving me like 4k XP for each of them, which probably isn't too great. You know, I'm too lazy to go back. We'll do it on the next task. Oh, wait, what the fuck? We're already 99 Slayer. When did that happen? I didn't even realize that. So we actually don't have to worry about this at all. And we're fine with that. And okay, that was a cask. I thought it was a wilderness key. Ooh, we actually got a wilderness key from that one. Let's see what color it is. That depends. Yellow? Well, we'll see. All right, this should be the last kill. There we go. Let's, oh, well, I was gonna just teleport out. It would be nice. All right, let's keep this going. Let's get another one. Now we get 20 per task, so we, yeah, we can kind of factor that in when we are when we're, when we're canceling tasks. And then we'll start probably trying to block some of these as well. 36 greater demons? <sighs> I think we're gonna still wanna cancel that one. I would do this one, but I've done this before and the, the, there's like not enough spawns and it ends up taking a long ass time. Just give me something good. Seven venomous, okay. You know what? I'm gonna block that. Let's block the Venonatus task, because I'm never gonna do that one. 30? Oh dear. Alright. I, I'll, I'm, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm never gonna do that one for a Wilderness task. That's, that's kind of just silly. You might as well just do boss tasks. And... You fuckers. Greater Demons are also like really out of the way. Wait, I don't have a lot of points to work with, do I? I only have 20. I actually don't have a lot of points to work with. Lesser Demons? Alright, I think I have to do this one. I don't have a lot of points to work with. And this one's actually uh, pretty good, because if we go to the Bosses teleport. Wait, doesn't KVD teleport you right inside the lair? I don't know. It tele teleports in the wilderness. Okay, that's good. Yeah, there's a few lesser demons right here. So let's see how long it takes to kill these guys. That's also something I'm kind of worried about. Oh, okay, that's easy. We can almost two hit them. All right, let's see if they spawn fast enough though. Oh, good thing I saw that mysterious emblem. Wow, that sticks out. These ones are actually. Uh, I'm actually gonna need these. Um, I'm gonna need to start PKing with these because I need to turn one into a level 10 tier. I need to empower a mysterious emblem 15 times. I think that means empowering. I think that means when you get a kill in it and it goes up a level. Oh, and I almost missed that one too. A dark totem top. That's for the uh, Skatizo boss fight. Oh, all right, there we go. A ch uh, task is done. I was gonna say achievement done. I wish we have uh, 40 of those in total, and we still have. Oh god, we have a lot to go. We only have 14 done. All right, guys, we have got to try this again. I'm going back to Puro Puro or whatever impedious impulses. Hopefully. We can find that dragon impling, man. I just I have no hope. I just don't have any hope. All right, so I guess I'll catch a couple of these, and then maybe that'll uh, make it so some of the better ones spawn. Now we did start seeing some of the better, the better higher up implings like ninja and zombie. So we know that those better ones spawn. I just have no clue, like how the dragon. Well, when when does it spawn? It just have to get lucky. When there's a spawn that's actually you know coming up. Is it just like a rare chance that- oh! oh! There it is! Give me that shit! Oh my god! Oh! Give me my fucking dragon thing, you fuckers! No! <laughs> no, please, dude! Don't let this happen to me! Don't let this happen to me, please! Where the fuck did it go? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Dude, he just dipped! He's gotta still be here, right? Okay, nobody's here. Nobody knows. Good thing I'm not streaming, dude. Just who knows would come in here and try to steal this dragon and play. This thing's gotta be here somewhere, though. <laughs> God, come on, dude. Where is it? Where did he go? Where could he possibly have gone? It doesn't help that there's fog. I can't. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, come to Papa, bitch. <laughs> Give me that fucking dragon. Came right into the palm of my hands. <sighs> Alright, I'm so happy I completed that one. It's right there, too. Will be green forever. All right. Well, let's open up these stupid implants. Look at the shitty shit we get. What can we get from the dragon implant? I know we can get like dragon bones and stuff like that. Probably not gonna be good though. Forty-five uncut dragon stone. That's not bad, right? That's something. I'll fucking take it, buddy. Well, there we go. I'm so glad to have gotten that achievement done. All right. I don't know why we haven't done this one yet. Uh, probably just because I felt like it would be a pain in the ass. Uh, recolor a vine whip. But apparently, to recolor a vine whip. You just use another vine whip on it? Is that all? Oh, there it is! That's all we gotta do. Uh, let's change it to, even though there's already a white one, it'll still give us the achievement, right? Yes, there we go. We color a vine whip. Another one down. Ooh, I see the uh, star just fell, actually. And I was actually doing that uh, with Darth Zack on stream. Let's let's do this. Let's try to see if we can find somebody and follow them over there. Because we do, uh, we're actually about to get one of them. Oh god, I'm probably not going to be able to fucking find it. 
We only we need to get 200 Stardusts. Um, I have like 173. Ah, oh, shit. Where would it be? Maybe Ed knows where it is. I'll follow Ed. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. I'm looking it up right now. It is. It's all the way down here. Yes, Ed, my man. What a fucking god. Okay. So we're about to get the, uh, the one where we need 200, but we also have to... Oh, is it already done? Oh no. Okay, come on. Just let me get... I need like 30 or something like that. I think they're already pretty much done with it too. Okay, I didn't get an achievement. What's going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I think it's exchange 200 Stardust. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. And then we have to mine a thousand Stardust. Alright, there we go. So we do have 218. Build and knock one of those achievements down. People got there super quick. I'll have to remember the uh, locations and try to try to get there a little faster next time because they only spawn like every couple hours. Take this reward. Oh, she gave me stuff. Oh, oh, okay. So I had to give her 200 Stardust and she gave me this reward. That's a pretty shitty reward. I wonder if we can get better stuff from this. Oh no, she gave me 10 mil too. Okay. Okay, I guess. That makes up a little, for, a little bit for it. But there we go. Trade in 200 Stardust for a reward. Alright, so I'm just gonna buy a few reward books here. Uh, and I think we're gonna do some smithing now to end off the episode. We really need to get smithing up for a lot of achievements. A lot of them require you to like make the dragon plate, divines, um, a lot more. Dragon fire shield. So we are going to use these Addy bars and make darts. Uh, Darth Act actually gave me that tip so that we can train Fletching down the road with those to get that 99 because uh, I don't think the magic logs are going to cut it. We still have to cut like a couple hundred magic logs, but that's not going to get us to 99. So hopefully this will. I think you just pretty much have to add feathers to them and that's it. So there we go. We get about 5k each. That'll take quite a while, but we need to get our smithing up. We have those vote books. It's the weekend. This is the best time to train skills. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the episode of Road to Comp Episode 7. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you have not yet, you can subscribe to the channel for more content in the future. Also, there's a little bell next to it. If you click that bell, it just it's like a double subscribe. It, no, it's actually like a real subscribe. It actually subscribes to the person and notifies you whenever they upload certain videos. And also notifies you when they go live. So have a good one, guys, and I will see you later.